Hey everyone, Matt Seuss here, and in this video we're going to take a look at Magic Light AI, a brand new extension from Skyloom for Luminar Neo. Now this is going to be released on December 15th, 2022. I have a beta version and we are going to be taking a look at that in this video here. If you do want to purchase this extension, go ahead and follow the link down below. I'll have a link for you and you can also use coupon codes too. So there's two different coupon codes depending on how much you're going to be spending. If you're going to be spending uh, less than hundred dollars use coupon code MATTSEUSS10 and that'll save you 10% or I'm sorry that'll save you $10 and if your order comes to over $100 use coupon code SEUSS10 and that will save you 10% off your total so you'll end up saving more than $10. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. So I have a photo over here that looked really good and I think it could just use a little bit of magic light AI. So what it's designed to do is look for artificial light sources in your photo and then add a sort of a sunbeam to it, a star beam to it. So you get that nice little sparkle on your uh, on your photos on those high intensity light points. So this is a technique that you can do out in the field with your camera. You need to use a high f-stop and a a wider angle lens that's going to give you the best results to get these uh, star bursts uh, that this filter is going to mimic. It's kind this filter is kind of uh, or this extension is kind of like the sun rays uh, extension or filter that's inside Luminar, whatever they're calling it these days. Uh, the sun rays is not an extension, but the magic light is a new extension and it kind of works uh, like that in terms of the effects on it. Now what it does, let's go ahead and open this extension up and start increasing the intensity and then you will start seeing it happen on your photos wherever you have some light sources. So I have these lights over here and we can start seeing this little star burst over here with those lights. Again, mimicking what you could do naturally in a camera. But there may be times that you can't stop down all the way to F16 or 18 or 20 and then still be able to take a shot because it, you know at dusk or at night you're going to be using a really slow shutter speed and also or high ISO. So this can help in a pinch when you can't do this uh, naturally out in your camera. Adjust the intensity. You can adjust the size of that. The beam width, you can see that increasing or decreasing. You can adjust the glow of that light and the clearness. So if you really want to have those uh, spots of lights be really sharp and defined, increase the clearness. You can also adjust the brightness too. The number of beams, you can increase or decrease the beams and also the rotation. In addition, we have some masking options. So if it finds some light sources that you really don't want to have this effect done to it, you can paint those out. Now, where this differs with the sun rays filter, the sun rays filter, you can actually move that location uh, and put it exactly where the sun is. You can't do that with this. So if it happens to miss any light sources, there's nothing you can do about it. If the AI misses it, can't add any of these into those other light sources. So just keep that in mind when you're using this uh, extension. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in one other photo here. If we go back into my catalog, I have one this, uh, you know, holiday lights. I just photographed these two photos last week on my Tetons winter workshop and actually perfect for this magic light. If we take a look in here and zoom in, we don't have that sparkle because I shot this at a very low ISO number. So we don't see those, those beams of light in there. So go into magic AI and let's go ahead. Let's zoom in on this a little bit so we can see the effect here and you know, again, Again, increasing the intensity and the size, the beam width. Let's go with some clarity here, add a little bit of that or clearness. That'll increase the sharpness and definition on that. And let's increase the beam width and maybe lower the size just a little. And let's see what kind of an effect that is having overall. So you can see tons and tons of these little uh, star bursts all over from these holiday lights on the antlers. You can also look in back here on the town of Jackson and we can see that it did it to the street lights and also some of the building lights too. So this is where if you do not want these this effect to be applied everywhere, go into your masking, click on your brush, click on erase and we can paint this effect out in certain areas. And just by painting that out, that removes that effect. 
Once you're done with the masking, you can just click back on the adjustments button. Now, one thing I wish it did was uh, sort of add, you know, enhance the color and and things of your light sources. Maybe brighten up your area too with the light sources, but not necessarily give it this sparkle. So if you don't want that sparkle, go ahead and lower the beam width. That's going to lower that beam width so you're not seeing any of those lines coming out, any of that starburst, but you still can increase or decrease the glow. You can increase or decrease the brightness of your light sources. Now what's interesting is before I recorded this, I was actually able to do that. I was able to lower the beam width and increase or decrease the brightness. And it was able to increase or decrease the brightness in my light sources. Uh, doesn't seem to be doing that right now. Let me just uh, adjust this brightness, uh, the size and everything. So it doesn't seem to be doing that big of an effect now all of a sudden. Uh, we'll see here. If we increase the glow, that is doing that. So now lowering and increasing the brightness with increasing a lot of the glow, you can have a little bit of an effect on your lights without getting those starbursts should you not want those. So hopefully this is something that Skyloom can increase the functionality of this if you do not want to have all those points of light, but you really want to do some magic to your light sources, your uh, artificial light sources and sort of increase or decrease the intensity and the color of the, your light sources. Maybe that's something that they can think about adding to this uh, extension in the future. But as it stands right now, it does seem like it is really designed for working with getting those star be star bursts and beams in your photos. Let me go ahead and just make a couple adjustments here and get this back to looking somewhat realistic. So I'll increase the clarity uh, and the brightness just a little bit. Number of beams, that looks pretty good. And let's see here. We'll lower the beam width and get that looking relatively realistic here. So spots of light. So now here we are, we have all those. How does this actually compare to a photo that was photographed intentionally to get these naturally inside of the camera? Well, it just so happens that I did end up shooting this both ways out in, uh, in Jackson. And let's take a look here. So now I am using this on my OM system camera. And if we take a look here at the file info, we can see that this was shot at F16. And so these are giving me some nice natural little starbursts on each one of the lights here. And so it's working really well here, you know, on, in a natural sense, it's not getting the background at all. So you're not seeing any, you know, maybe some of those bright light sources, but you know, natural in camera way of getting your beams looks, looks really nice. And in Skyloom, let's go back to Skyloom and bring that up here. And we can see here, I'd probably have a little bit more work I need to do to get this to look as natural as the other photo, as the way I shot it uh, with these beams in there, uh, these starbursts. But we can also see here that it's not picking up these smaller lights in the background here, which uh, it, you know, naturally when I photograph that with a high f-stop number to have that effect done in camera, it wasn't picking up those either. So that's good with the AI. However, the problem is if you did want to have these do a little bit of a sparkle too, like I mentioned before, there's no way currently to add and tell the AI where there are light sources that you do want to have those sparkles too. So that's a quick look at Magic Light AI, the newest extension for Skyloom's Luminar Neo. Again, you can get it as part of their extension pack, and I'm not even going to go through all the prices because they have so many different prices and options and everything like that. Go to the link, go sign into your account and see what the special price is going to be for you based on what software you have of, uh, of Skyloom's. Is it worth buying on its own at $49. So all these Skyloom extensions are going to be available for purchase starting at $49, I guess, relatively soon. Is this worth $49? Well, that's kind of like a third of the price of the program. So as of right now, Skyloom is selling a standalone version of Luminar without any subscriptions for $149. And this extension being $49, is this really worth a third of the cost of the program? Honestly, I don't think so. I think this extension would probably be a lot more valuable to people at $20 or so, $25. It's a limited use, but when you do need to use it, it might be worth that $49 for you. If you have their full extension pack and you're on their subscription plan, that's probably gonna make the most amount of sense for this type of, a, uh, for this type of an effect. So bottom line is it seems to work pretty well, kind of like the sun rays uh, filter inside here. It can add some really nice sparkle to your images. 
be careful not to overuse it like anything that you're using inside of photo software and go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think is this worth $49 is this something you can use for a lot of your photography maybe you're a portrait photographer or wedding photographer and you know this is totally going to increase the uh, quality of your images for your clients let me know in the comments below or if you think that this is a little overpriced and maybe just a little gadgety and gimmicky let me know that too I'd love to hear from you once again I'm Matt Seuss if you like this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next video.